Okay, in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a camera. The first thing you need to do is go up when you're in, you're in an Autodesk Inventor and click on New. Once this loads up, you want to click on the one that says Standard.IPT at the top. Click Create. It will probably take a few moments for it to load up. Notice how it's loading in the bottom left hand corner of my screen. It may take a few moments. Okay, now that it has loaded, the first thing I need to do is create the box for my camera. I'm going to go up and click on Create 2D Sketch. Notice in my view cube now, I've got the front, right, and top. That should correspond with front, right, and top. I want to create my drawing on the front view. Click this one time. Now you're in your 2D drawing mode. Notice how you've got your 2D options at the top. This yellow dot in the center is your middle of your drawing. I'm going to go up and click on Rectangle. And I'm going to left click on my yellow dot and create a rectangle of any size. It does not matter. I might want to zoom out a little bit using my scroll wheel. Next, what I want to do is click on Dimension. It is important that you click on the corners and not on the lines. I want to click on the corner in the right corner and drag it up and click again to create a line that is 100 millimeters long. If it's out of your view, just simply zoom out and readjust your view. Next, click your dimension button again, and this time I want to click the top right corner and the bottom right corner and drag it to the right to create a 50 millimeter line. Next, I'm going to finish my sketch and zoom out a little bit. I want to extrude my box 30 millimeters. So I'm going to click on extrude, click on my box, and type in 30. Check. Next what I want to do is create the circular lens on the front. Notice how the front of my view cube matches up with the front of my box. So I'll go back and click create again. Click on the front of my box. I'm going to create two circles at the top left. So I'll click circle and inside the middle of my item I'm going to click my circle and drag it to make it any size. I'll click the center again and drag it to make another one. Next I need to make the size so I will click on dimension. I need to size my circle so I'll click the outside one first and move my mouse to the right and type in 40 enter. Next I'll click the small one and drag it to the right and I'll change that one to 16. Enter. Now I want them to be centered on my item. So I'm going to click the center of my circles in the right hand side and drag my mouse down and type in 50. Enter. It might not do anything. Next I want to click the center in the bottom and drag my mouse to the left and type in 20 enter. Now that it is centered I can finish my sketch. Next I want to extrude my box. So I'm going to click on only the lens. I do not want to click here or the center. Just the lens only. For this exercise, you can pick any size, but for me, I'm going to pick 20 millimeters and click the check button. You have fin essentially finished your camera. If you want to change your view, you can hold your shift key down in your middle mouse button and move your mouse at the same time to see what you've made. Finally, I want to go up and I'll make a lens. So I'll click my Create 2D Sketch button, click the front, 
and I'm going to draw out a flash. So I'll click on the rectangle button, click somewhere inside where I want my lens to be. Once I've made that, I will go and use my dimensions again, click my corners, move it up. I might make my flash 20 millimeters long. I also might make my flash 10 millimeters high. Now I want to center my flash so it looks nice. So I'll click the top of the top right corner and the top of my thing to make it 5 millimeters away from the top. I'll also click the bottom right in the right hand side and move it down to make it 5 millimeters from this corner. Now I have fully dimensioned my drawing. I will click finish and I can now extrude it backwards. So I will click extrude, click inside, make sure it's highlighted, click inside my lens. I will then change direction by clicking on this button, which means to cut. I only want it to go back 5 millimeters, so I'll type in 5 millimeters and click OK. Now I have finished my camera. It is up to you now what you choose to do. You may need to create on top a focus button, a screen on the back, and other sorts of ports. This completes the tutorial. Please make sure you save your item and you give it a name such as camera. Thanks for watching.